Jump scare warning. Oh, another day, another book release, a new hair color. We cannot turn this into a trend. We can't start doing this on all the book releases. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie Wismer. I'm an author and an editor, and today is release day for my ninth book. Broken Perfect Lies. I'm so excited. Yeah, this video is probably gonna be short and sweet. We're gonna chat a little bit about the book, a little bit about just what's on my mind as I'm going into release number nine, that rhymed. And I also just wanted an opportunity to show off my new hair. We're not gonna look too closely at it though because I did do it myself, so. I like that it kind of matches the book cover though. Yeah, first things first, since it's release day, let me give you the lowdown real quick, everything you need to know. If you want to pick up this book and grab a copy, the ebook is available in Kindle Unlimited, which means it has to be exclusive to Amazon. You're not going to be able to find the ebook anywhere but there. Legally, if you see an ebook anywhere but there, please don't read it. There's no audiobook out currently and none in production, but there is a paperback that you can get on Amazon and everywhere else. I would recommend bookshop.org because that supports independent bookstores. You could also do Book Depository, Barnes & Noble, Booktopia, uh chapters indigo other places online or you can request your local bookstore grab a copy request your library get a copy all that good stuff broken perfect lies is a standalone you can read it without having read any of my books you can read it after having read all of my books it's an adult bodyguard romance with some suspense aspects and it was inspired by hannah montana so the way i've been describing it since i started writing it is a dark and spicy Hannah Montana for adults basically and we have a Dino back here. I'll have the link down below if you want to add it on Goodreads and then I've also made several videos about this book in the past so I'll link those down below too if you haven't seen them. But it's out now if you want to pick up a copy I would appreciate it so much. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. We have a few reviews up at the time that I'm filming this for Mark Reader so it's been really cool to see the first round of first impressions, the first round of opinions on the book and I'm looking forward to the book reaching you know a wider general audience and seeing what everybody thinks about it. This one has been in the works for quite some time and it feels very different to me than my previous books. The story behind this book is I started writing it, it's in the vlogs on the channel. I want to say January of 2021 is when I tried to finish the rough draft of this book. So having it released in February of 2023 feels very full circle like almost exactly two years later. I didn't work on this book for two years it was like I wrote the rough draft and then it sat untouched as a rough draft for probably over a year because I was focusing on so many other books and then when I was finally able to get back to this it didn't take that long it just sat on the back burner for quite a long time because I was in the middle of the marionette series and I felt like it was smarter marketing wise and business wise to get those out in quick succession because they're a series. But basically this book started out as I wanted to write a bodyguard romance because I that's a trope that I really like and I really loved Hannah Montana growing up. It was one of my favorite shows as a kid so I thought that just sounded like a really fun combination. This book has all kinds of tropes in it that I love. You know with the bodyguard territory comes like being protective and you get some like jealousy tropes in there, the who did this to you, touch her and you die, all that kind of stuff. If you've read some of my other books, you probably know what to expect, like tone wise. It's something that I don't intentionally put into my books, but it always ends up being my books end up having a lot of heavy material in them. I don't know what that says about me. I was also writing this book while I was going through quite a bit of grief, so I do feel like that kind of went into this book. If you've read this book, the two books that I was working at the same time were this book and Bloodless Ties, which is book three of the marionettes. And if you've read both books, you'll see um, the grief elements in there are pretty strong. And I think that's because of what I was going through in my life while I was writing these. So it is a little bit heavier subject matter wise. We're dealing with grief and loss of a loved one, stalking. And then our main character, Parker, she is a pop star who has been living a double life she's kept her real identity a secret and then when that finally gets leaked her whole world gets turned upside down so we're dealing with she's 24 so that kind of like early adulthood trying to figure stuff out already and then throw that in a lot of identity questioning and like what do i really want out of life and all that kind of stuff in addition to like oh i'm really grieving and mourning and also my new bodyguard is like hella hot <laughs> basically i just say that like go in expecting um none of my books are really cute and fluffy not for lack of trying it's just they never end up 
that way they end up being a little more emotional and heavy and there's your warning not a warning just i feel like it's good to have that expectation going into it I see dean up there this book is spicy when people ask me like how spicy are your books it's so subjective so it's so hard to say and it's always funny to see reviews come in where i'll have literally one after the other one being like there's something wrong with this book it's so graphic nah, nah, nah. and then this person's like this book was as spicy as water <laughs> so you know to each their own this has graphic content for sure if you're someone who likes to have a million different spicy scenes in your books that's not my books mine tend to have a couple and they tend to happen later on because i'm all about the relationship and the emotional growth before any of that happens slow burns i don't even like go in intending to write a slow burn but that's just kind of the way my writing tends to lean because i love the angst and the build-up but yeah for sure if you don't like any graphic descriptions you probably won't want this one both with the sexual content but then also violence and blood and gore and stuff like that although if you've read my marionette series this one's not quite as gory as those i would say on the spicy scale if you've read my other books this is spicier than Wicked Souls. Maybe not as spicy as Bloodless Ties. Maybe on the same level as Bloodless Ties. Somewhere around there. Some other things that I think are fun about this book. The main character is a singer songwriter, so there are lyrics throughout the book. And you also get these um, journal entries from her. As always, there is a Spotify playlist that you can listen to. And if you're reading the ebook especially, because sometimes Amazon like has their pop-up like, oh, what to read next before you even get to the back matter. Don't want you to miss it. There is a bonus at the back of this book if you sign up for my newsletter. And I think the bonus content for this book is pretty fun. So check that out if you feel so inclined. Yeah, this book release, honestly, it just feels very strange. It feels like it's been a long time coming, but it also has very, very much crept up on me. Parker and Heath are characters who I feel like one of the first things that I get down with my books is the characters and I get like a really good sense for them and they help guide the revisions for the plot and everything else. For this book, I felt like I had the plot that I wanted and I had kind of like the archetype of the characters and like the general, just like a general sense of who I wanted the characters to be. And with each draft, I like chipped away at them more and chipped away at them more to get to know them. And by the time I finally got to publishing quality, I feel like I really know the characters, but the process of this book is different than anything I've ever written because these characters, they had their walls up. They, and that's what their personalities are like. So now it, it makes sense, but they made me work for it, man. They made me work for it. <laughs> Some good comparable books, I think, that if you like those books, you might like this one. I'm thinking like Verity by Colleen Hoover, Twisted Games, maybe Hooked by Emily McIntyre. If you've read the book, um, like one of my arc readers or something, if you have a good comparison title you want to drop in the comments, I'd be really interested to see, obviously, Hannah Montana. Someone did ask if I'd seen the movie The Bodyguard from like the 80s or the 90s. I hadn't seen it prior to writing this book, but once it was, this book was in like the proofreading stage, I went and watched it. So yeah, I would say that's kind of a similar vibe. This is one of my longer books because this is a dual POV, so you get the main girl character and then also her love interest's point of view. I don't know quite what the word count came out to be. I feel like it was like 96,000 or something, which is definitely on the longer end for my books. I'm trying to think, like the only books of mine that are longer than this are Bloodless Ties. I think this might be exactly the same word count as Wicked Souls or maybe just like a thousand words under. The formatting is a little bit different, so like physically it looks a little bit skinnier, but um, if you care about the length of it expectation-wise, it's about the length of Wicked Souls. I'm trying to think if there's anything else you might want to know. There is a cameo in this book from a character from the anti-relationship year, which I think is kind of fun. You don't have to have read that book to read this book, but you'll pick up on it. Thank you so much if you are one of the people who pre-ordered this book. Pre-orders are hard to convince people to do, but they make a really big difference for book releases. So I just wanted to take a second to tell you truly from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you. If you're someone who pre-ordered a signed copy from me, I've ordered them. They are on the way to me. I'm hoping they're gonna get here any day and then I will be shipping those out as quickly as I can. I did order a little bit of extra stock. So if you didn't swing in for the pre-orders, there will be a very limited quantity available once they get here with the extra ones. If you wanna try and swoop in and get them, it is US only because of the shipping. I would love to figure out a way to start doing international shipping, but it's just at this point, unfortunately not feasible. So I, I hear you, I get asked that for every book release and I feel 
so bad every time I have to tell people US only because it's not by choice. I would love to be able to ship elsewhere, but I just, like it would hurt my heart if you were buying a book from me and the shipping was twice as much as what the book costs. Like, just for my signature, it's not worth it. <laughs> like, it's not worth it. If you have any other questions that I didn't address in this video, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. I hope you enjoy the book if you pick it up. If you've missed it, we've been doing a serialized release of my new adult science fiction book, Project Z, over on my Patreon page. It's two new chapters dropping every week on Fridays, along with a companion video of me talking about the chapters and why I made the choices I did, what I would do differently now, and all of that kind of stuff. So it's been a fun little interactive serialized book release over there. My Patreon page is pay what you can, so no matter what tier you're a part of, you get access to everything. I'll have that link down below if you're interested. I'll have the book link down below if you want to give it a read. And other than that, I think I will just see you guys in our next video very, very soon. Bye. No.